All right, 10 minutes away. We'll do a rapid fire. We got news. Blake Griffin got knee surgery, so he's toast. Um, Yeah, oh, out indefinitely. He's out for the year. Um, Andre Drummond expected to be dealt before the deadline. Why you wouldn't deal D. Rose right with him, I have no idea. But, look, we're talking about Tua. Nationally, it's being discussed now, and Detroit has come up as a possible place to draft him. I I think it's a no-brainer. But, again, I'm sitting here on January 7th under the presumption he's going pro because the medicals and and the prognosis drove him in that direction. And that's really been the conversation the whole way. I don't want, I don't want to do this where it's like, Oh, I'm scared about his hip. You're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. You're trusting that the doctors, the actual professionals guided him in this process. Otherwise he'd be going back to Bama. So like, what are we talking about exactly? And if you're worried about health, can I just ask a quick question? When do you start to get worried about your quarterback who's had broken bones in his back two straight years? Do we start to worry now? Is that okay? I'm just asking. You know, I I just, whatever. Sully, take a text, please. Yeah, a lot of them coming in. Mike, I want the Lions to draft two, but I don't have confidence that they will, but I'm hopeful. No, they won't, but I'm with you. The only reason Tua would come here it's because he has no choice. No one would want to come play here for this organization. That's a nice one. It's the truth. Yeah. With the third pick in the 2020 draft, the Lions will select Jedrick Willis Jr., offensive lineman out of Alabama. Now, I have seen his name as, as high as threes. That's actually not some sort of a hot take. but He's been a right tackle his whole career, but go ahead. You want to take a right tackle up top? Go for it. I don't know what to tell you. What if the Lions – do draft Tua, play him, and he isn't healthy. Isn't that just the same old SOL? But wh- but why would you even write that? This entire conversation is predicated on his health. Do you think we're doing this topic if two months from now Tua suffers a setback or people are doubting that he can perform at the combine or there's whispers that he needs another surgery? No. So can we not do that? Of course we're not going to talk about that. See, this is my problem with the fan base. I hate everything today. Can I just be honest? <laughs> this is why I always say that I don't think this the Detroit Lions fans deserve a Super Bowl, deserve anything good. Because on one hand, you say, well, he'll come here and then he'll, his injury history will be a factor. Then on one end, well, I don't trust the GM to draft the right guy anyway. It's like, you know what? If you don't believe in a franchise, if you don't believe anything's going to ever work out, then just stop being a fan of the team. Stop showing up to the game. Stop showing up. Show them that you deserve better. Oh, Tua might come here and then his hip will be a problem. No, stop uh, I like I like how <laughs> Detroit Lion guy in Waterford has that opinion, but the entire NFL is already saying basically this kid ain't getting outside the top five. Lions are not taking Tua because he's going to go in the top two. When was the last time a consensus generational talent at quarterback didn't get picked one or two? I think it's more likely Washington takes him at two Fine. than him falling to three at the Lions. Then we all take Chase Young, and it doesn't matter. Fine. I'm making a point to you. There are three players in this draft that if I'm picking at number three, I'm getting one of them. It's Chase Young, Tua, Burrow. Figure it out. The Lions drafted Hawkinson to appeal to Tom Brady signing in Detroit. Quinn Trisha is uh, playing the long-term game. I quit. <laughs> that, one's, they were, that one was just joking. That's laced Michigan, with sarcasm. Michigan fan is calling to sign Brady. Same people who think Harbaugh is still going to get it done. I'm not touching that. One more. I don't think Tua would enter the draft unless he's going to start his rookie season. No, because you don't get to make that call. You have no control. Unless you want to play the Eli Manning game and your family comes out and says, we will not play for you. Which, again, if Tua says, I'm not playing for the Lions, we're not doing this topic. It, it, guys, there there are endpoints to any of these dumb arguments. We're not there. This is here today. No one expected him to enter. He's gotten a positive medical prognosis. And now everybody who knows this is saying this kid's going in the top three or four. So it just comes down to do you take him or not? And for me, it's a no-brainer. And I move on from Stafford in the next 12 months. I don't think that's offensive. It's not attacking Matthew Stafford. It's just an unintended thing that happened. I never imagined who would be in this draft. Never imagined it after the injury. I thought, well, he'll come back for a senior year. 
and it'll be him and Trevor Lawrence. It'll be a real lottery at the top of that draft. Now you got people talking like this guy's not fit to make sandwiches for a living. I mean, it's just remarkable how people change their tune on this kid like he did anything wrong. Go to Andre, 97.1. What's up, Dre? Hey. Uh, what's going on, guys? Love your show real quick. I'm totally, I'm totally against everything you guys are saying. I am not taking a, a number three overall pick with a hip injury. You can't name me five people who played in the NFL with a hip injury that played to high-caliber football. I'm not doing that. That is a dumbass move. That's dumb. I'm not spending an overall third-round pick on an injured hip, and I don't care what a doctor says because no one comes back from a hip injury and plays a top form. Plus, he is not a proven commodity. He's a proven commodity in college, not in the NFL. I'm not going to do why, that. Why not just sit him behind Stafford for a year then? Eight-round pick. I mean, an eighth pick in the first round on a tight end, which you don't have to do, and the backup uh, uh, tight end is just as good as him. Andre, why no not? Way. Andre, I'm not why, doing why, that. Why not? need defense. Why not sit no him behind? All right, he's not, not going to. All right, you going to listen? You going to? You going to listen? You going to keep going? No, I like it. Okay. And I'm a staffer. Are you not hearing what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep talking. All right. By the way, guys, Mike already walked out of the studio, so that's why I was trying to jump in and at least ask him a question. Hey, well, what if you just sit him behind Matt Stafford for you? Wouldn't that make the most sense? But no, Mike. Like, let me set the scene for you. The middle of that phone call, walked out, and just threw his headphones down. And I think he's. Maybe he's going to get a drink of water or something. You know what? I don't know where he is, Sully, but let's, you know, I don't know. Let's talk to him. (laughs) No, David, I think what he did is he went for another walk around the building like you guys did earlier. Walked outside. Yeah, I think he did, actually. I think he did. But uh, that's another fan that just called up. Andre, I believe his name was, that he uh, he's worried about the injury situation and the health situation with Tua. What a joke these fans are, man. Well, and I, I'm glad Mike's not here for this because I was actually going to read a text saying that uh, the Lions should trade up to number one and take Chase Young, which I'm <laughs> sure he would have aided that logic too. But So do the Trubisky thing that the Bears did and trade up for Chase Young? Like, why get rid of assets when you don't have to? David, I'll tell you what we'll do. We got two open lines, guys. We're going to try to go calm Mike down and get him back in here. But if you want to grab one of those two lines, 248-539-9797, let's – Let's try to put Mike in a better mood. He's clearly upset today. Let's get him in a better mood. Call in with some some real strong Lions talk. We know he's upset about the Giants. All right? Let's let's get him a little happier. All right, 97-1.